Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Matt Rogers and welcome to your comments and theories for House of Cards Season 5. Now about a week ago I uploaded a trailer breakdown for the new Season 5 trailer that was released. If you haven't checked that out then you can check that out here. Uh, but you guys left a lot of comments and theories on there and I thought I'd make a follow up video discussing those things. Now before we get started, major spoiler alert for Seasons 1 through to 4. Do not watch this video until you're fully caught up. Now I will also be doing a Season 5 review so if you're interested in that then make sure you hit that subscribe button so you're notified as soon as it's uploaded. All right, so let's get into it. So the top comment on the video was from Mark Cedar and he said, hey man, great video. Just letting you know that at 4.22, that's Laura Moretti, the wife of the guy Francis stole the liver from in season four. Her and Doug kind of had a thing by the end of season four. Also, I don't think it's overly surprising Frank won New York. It's a democratic stronghold, kind of like California. I did a text analysis that you can read here. Now I will leave a link to his analysis in the description below, but uh, first things first, I was trying to figure out who this lady is lying down. Not sure if it's in a sexual way or whether she's been knocked out. The fact that Doug's in the car in the next shot is interesting because uh, last time we had a lady in the back of Doug's car, we know what went down. Maybe she finds out too much information and then Frank gets Doug to wouldn't be the first time. Now in regards to Frank winning New York, now I am Australian, so I'm not fully up with American politics as much as I'd like to be, but uh, he did point out that it isn't unusual for uh, the Democrats to win New York. Which leads me to my next comment, which is uh, from uh, Faisal Mumtaz, sorry if I'm massacring your name, uh, but he said, South Carolina goes to Conway, even though it's Underwood's home state, and New York goes to the Underwoods, both home states go to the unexpected leader. Which is true, but uh, if you remember in season four, the Ku Klux Klan billboard that um, was put up for Frank, that was in his hometown. So that could be something to do with losing South Carolina. But if um, the past elections in real life are anything to go by, I suppose it's not that surprising. Next, we have a comment from Ayush Jain. Again, I'm sorry if I'm stuffing these names up, but he said, nice analysis. Just to let you know, that is Augustus Underwood at 716 who Frank is choking. Now, for those of you who don't remember, Augustus Underwood was uh, Frank's descendant who fought in the war. Now, this isn't actually Augustus Underwood. It's the guy who uh, played him in the reenactment. Uh, but we did see a little bit of him in season four in the hallucinations. Um, so it'd be interesting to see if this is another hallucination. I don't know why Frank would continue having those unless something else happens to him. Or it could just be a bad dream, not sure. All right, next up we have a comment from unknown person who said, I think the funeral is for the Miller guy who was decapitated by the Ico terrorists in the last episode of season four. Very well could be. Um, the only thing, the only question that I have with that is that uh, Claire looks super emotional in this funeral. I feel that she wouldn't be that emotional for this Miller guy. Um, maybe it's just a front though. If she's going to be vice president, maybe she's trying to put on a front to be more family friendly and uh, win the compassion vote. But uh, if that's actually Claire getting emotional, doubt it was the Miller guy because she wouldn't get that emotional over that. All right, next up, we've got a pretty popular comment now uh, here. It's uh, from Adam Kilvington. He said, at 11.56, I think that's the one of the two Americans who took hostages during the terror attack hostage situation in season four, unless I'm totally misremembering and those guys are dead already. Can't remember, but I swear he looks a bit like one of those guys. I agree, uh, it definitely could be the Ico Terrace. Now there is one issue I have with this and I could be misremembering it, but uh, in the finale of season four, there was that guy that asked Frank whether he'd like these terrorists uh, dead or alive, and Frank says dead. When you find them, you will kill them. If we're able to apprehend alive, we may get... I understand, Mr. President. So it'd be interesting if they didn't end up killing him and then he ends up in prison, but uh, that's the only issue I have with it. But I do agree, it's much more likely to be the Ico Terrace rather than Conway. I still very much doubt that's possible. Now Kid Cootie's commented saying that the 10 minute mark is a simple public demonstration. Perhaps Claire is hosting some sort of task force conference, but it looks like she's merely demonstrating the functions of a gas mask. Could be. She looks like she's got a sort of stern, concerned look on her face, which I feel like it wouldn't be that concerned if it was just a demonstration, but as I pointed out in the earlier video, um, everyone in the background isn't wearing one, so the fact that she is, I don't know, it's sort of open to interpretation there. Now Alpha Blaze 98 says, what if the one who dies is Yates? That would explain why she's so distraught at the funeral and the blood on her attire. It could be anyone. I didn't look for him in the scenes. It's possibly Conway's wife spent a little more time with him than we thought and he was a good person. 
Who knows, but it would be quite a lot for Claire. Now that's an interesting thought because it would definitely explain uh, Claire being so upset in the funeral. Uh, I don't think she'd be putting on those tears because obviously her and Yates are quite close. I guess maybe we're overdue for a major character to die, but uh, I don't know how he could die. Maybe Frank turns on him because he's causing a scandal because of the whole him and Claire thing, but Frank seemed really cool about it in season four, but um, you know how things change. We've got a comment from Leo Lee saying, My guess for the funeral is Brockhart, as that would explain the military presence at the funeral and why Conway would be there as his running mate died. And Frank would have to be there because Brockhart's service in the military. I circle back to my other point where I think Claire's a bit too emotional for a character like that, but again, she could be just putting it on. A simple comment from the Franconian, but a question worth asking. Does Kathy Durant die in season five? Funeral could definitely be for her. Uh, there's military there, Frank and Claire. Conway's, everyone's there, that would make a lot of sense and that would be a pretty major death in the series but I question how that could have happened too. It's very rare for a Secretary of State to be killed but um, you never know. Now a good pick up from Anton Juned who said, could the briefcase Claire has seen within this trailer be the nuclear football? It definitely could be. We can't see very clear in this shot. Now we can see it's some sort of briefcase but not exactly sure if it's the nuclear football or not but it would make a lot of sense for it being in the O4 office. But the fact that Claire has it means that she could have taken the reins, which could be a major spoiler indeed. Now, Lyoko Boy TC said that Frank didn't have an American flag on during the funeral, but Conway does. Now, as we know, the president usually wears a little American flag pin, but uh, who knows? I think it may just be paying too much attention to detail because I'm pretty sure that Frank is going to win this election. I think that sort of goes without saying now, but you never know. Now Anwar Haddad pointed out that at the 1236 mark, I skipped over this scene here. That was a complete accident. I don't know how I missed that, but uh, it, I have no idea who that guy is. Doesn't look like uh, the Augustus Underwood that we talked about earlier. It's some guy wearing a suit. They're both wearing tuxedo type suits. Um, could be a nightmare, could be a hallucination. It's interesting that someone could grab Frank like that and not have the Secret Service step in, but uh, we'll see. Well, that's just some of your comments and theories, but if you have any more, then feel free to leave them in the comments below. Hit that subscribe button so you'll be notified when I release the season five review. But apart from that, thanks so much for hanging out. If you had a good time, then spank that like button. This is Matt Rogers, signing off.